Kensington. Uh, my name is Justin Warrens. I help lead at the Birmingham campus, and I am here with one of our Kensington Birmingham uh, members, uh, Monica Toomey. Can you say hello, Monica? Hi, everyone. All right. Now, Monica, you have started something about two weeks ago that has been an incredible movement. Can you tell us a little bit about what you started and what is the heartbeat of this community? Absolutely. So um, it's been a pretty incredible two weeks. Tuesday, uh, well, the, the 7th is our two-week anniversary. Uh, what we started, it's called FLAG. It's Frontline Appreciation Group. We have one main mission, if you will. It is to provide meals to the frontline workers, but within that, we kind of serve three purposes. And so what we do is we collect small donations. Uh, it's usually a $20 donation. Um, we pool those do donations and we pay for meals to be prepared and delivered by restaurants and then those restaurants deliver it to the hospital. And um, in doing so, obviously we're giving support to the people in the hospital, which is amazing because they are doing so much. We really just want to lay hands on their back, let them know that we haven't forgotten about them and that, you know, that they're getting some nutrition. I mean, they're working on average, they're working 12 hour days and they are um, just going, going, going nonstop. It's very emotional, the things that they're seeing. And so our goal is to provide them with uh, something nutrition. It's very quick and easy for them to get. And uh, they're just so incredibly appreciative when we talk to them. I mean, you'd think we were giving them the best thing ever and, and we feel so appreciative for everything they're doing. So it just, yeah. um, it's pretty amazing. The other cool part, though, is that in doing this, we're also helping the restaurants. So obviously, that's helping the local economy. But you're talking about restaurants. We focus on the mom and pop restaurants, right? So you're able to not only help those families and then the families they have. And, and to me, I just see, you know, here we're able to keep them in business, you know, whether it's they're getting that income, they can pay their bills, feed their kids, whatever it is. It just it really drives you because, um, you know, you just know this is such a tough time for them. And again, they're so appreciative. So that's amazing. But what has been incredible to me is our community. And that was, mm -hmm. like I said, a little bit of a surprise to me. I, I knew it would be good. I mean, we started a Facebook group, but it, I mean, we're growing by about a thousand people a day. And the community that we have, um, it's, it's supposed to be a very open community. It's here so that people can feel, you know, we, you, you have to stay home and you suddenly feel very disconnected and you feel like, what can I really do? And, and you feel lost and, and you have too much time to sit and think in your own mind, right? You, those dark thoughts start coming. So this gives people a place to go, stop looking at the news and the negativity, go somewhere where you can see some light, feel some purpose, um, and, and really feel like you're a part of something. Even if you gave $10, you know, and you don't even have to give anything. People can just be in there. Um, but you can see good being done in the dark. And, and that to me is just, you know, it, it's such a blessing in these times. You know, I obviously come at this from a Christian perspective. My hope was that this was going to be a way that, you know, we are kind of the hands and feet, right, of, of Jesus out there, Christ helping people and that they would feel that love and light and that somehow they would say this this is so beautiful this is something i want to be a part of what you know let me learn more <laughs> about jesus and doing this and and in fact so many of the people on there are just such solid you know you hear people they're they're already so deep in their faith or it's bringing out their faith you know they'll ask for prayers for their um you know their husband who's a doctor their daughter that's a nurse their friend that's you know an admin there whatever it is i mean they're all they're asking for prayers they're sharing stories and it is so powerful it, it's it's mm -hmm. beyond, I, I read them and i cry because it, it just it, it inspires me every day because i just feel like every minute we spend doing flag is another minute that we are able to get money into the hands of restaurants to get food on the tape get food into the hands of these um amazing frontline medical community folks. And it is, um, it, it, I just feel so privileged to be a part of it. It was beautiful because I've been watching this uh, happen. Um, my wife and I saw it, I think it, like when there was only 700 
uh, Facebook friends on it. And now it's over 15, 16,000. And I remember seeing uh, the moment that you decided to, to share one of your dangerous prayers, one of your, one of your spiritual practices, and you put it out on Facebook. Since that moment, the every single day I've seen more and more prayer going on, more and more encouragement going on. And it's beautiful because people are just encouraging one another. I, I would totally echo what you're saying. It is a beautiful picture of the kingdom of God being light in the middle of darkness and um, in everyone who is there is benefiting, right? It's not just benefiting the person asking for prayer. It's benefiting everyone. So thank you so much for having that heart and that vision um, for your community and the greater community all around. I, I know a lot of this, we were joking around before, this, your coffee team training has really set you up to do all of this, right? Like serving those coffees on Sunday morning, this, it was preparing you for this moment. <laughs> that is it. It was, you know, serving coffee, serving today. We're serving three over three thousand meals. So it's all just, just today. Hand in hand. Just today, just today, three thousand meals in less than two weeks. When when we're recording this video, mm -hmm. uh, over ninety thousand dollars has come in from the community saying we want to be a part of this, and all different backgrounds, all different beliefs, all different faiths joining together. Um, so it's been beautiful to see that kind of happen. And then now it's kind of the ramp up of your, you're, you're going to be distributing thousands of meals a day, every single day, which is unbelievable. Um, because we're, as we're in this, and then you have this hope, right? Uh, of Easter weekend, you want to deliver meals to every single, every single hospital, about 25 or more. Um, it, I know you were telling me it grows every single day. Uh, and just, so just using ballpark numbers, say 25, your hope is to provide every shift uh, food on this weekend. Isn't that correct? Uh, that is. With Easter weekend, we feel like that is a time that we really, you know, what, what an awesome time to be able to share some, some love and light, right? I mean, we really Absolutely. want to get, um, get that message into people that we love them. And, and that's how you really do it is, is, is through the food right now. They, you know, just saying a prayer is great. <laughs> mm -hmm. Giving them some food, I think is touching their hearts. So um, in, a, in a different way. And so um, that would be our goal. I am praying over it. I was praying over it this morning and um, it was actually kind of interesting because it was the gal on our team who's Jewish who suggested mm -hmm. we do that as a goal, mm -hmm. which I thought That's was awesome. pretty cool, right? I love it. Uh, I think it's just so neat. I was like, that is just, she's like, it's Easter weekend. We really need to celebrate that. I was like, yes, we do. <laughs> so, so yeah, keep us all in prayers because I think it will just be such an amazing testament yeah. to everyone to be able to, you know, as they're eating that meal over the weekend to know that, you know, that we all had hands on their back and, and keep them in prayers because I mean, these, yeah. I, I encourage you, whether you donate or not, join the group. Um, it, it will bring you I agree. such joy. And, and I know we have lots of people in the group who are, who are not donating because they're choosing another way. And that's what I tell people. You know, sometimes people say to me, well, I want to focus on masks. Or I want to focus on other frontline workers, the people in the grocery stores, the police. And, and I say, absolutely. Amen. There are so many people who are still serving with the scope that we chose, we had to focus on one thing. So we focus yep. on the medical staff. That is not saying that there are not other groups out there that are doing an amazing job. Tell everyone, you know, join the group, feel that power, feel that prayer, and see how God speaks to you. You know, I mean, there, love there's, it. however you're going to spread, just spread your light, spread your love. And, and Jesus, you know, you pray to him. He just, I had no idea this was going to happen. <laughs> he just did it. Well, you and I were uh, kind of texting back and forth just as we were setting this up. And, and when you when you wrote that prayer, I told you uh, one of my favorite lines that I heard a long ago that I clung to, do for one what you wish you could do for many, right? And I think that's what you stepped in, in obedience, you stepped into what God was calling you into, which is a heartbeat of Kensington, right? We, we really believe people will be transformed and mobilized by Jesus. And that is our hope. And that we had reached the one who is far from God, uh, the one who has been disconnected. And I think what you did is you embodied that. You embodied that heart of saying, you, you've let God speak to you and you've been mobilized into the passions that you have. And what you just said right there at the end was awesome because you're telling other people, not everyone has to lead flag. They All they need to do is step into the places where God is calling them to serve and to love and whether that's their neighborhood or some businesses or whatever it is that God puts a dream on. It, it is beautiful. Now uh, I want to end this time. Um, I didn't tell you this, but um, 
Kensington, one of the things that we've been talking about, we've been so, so appreciative of what you've been doing, part of our community. I know so many of the individuals are part of that team and administrators and delivers the Kensington Birmingham team and others that have joined in. It's just absolutely stunning. So we're going to throw out a little challenge to people. Uh, and you can share this with your flag community. Uh, for Easter weekend, we commit uh, to $5,000. Uh, to flag and we're inviting other people to match and join us and let's see how much five thousand dollars in the matching kind of experience can go to bless all of those on the front lines this weekend and the many weekends beyond that is awesome that is so awesome i mean and a five thousand dollar match that's so much wonderful so many meals so many hearts we can touch and you just never Absolutely. know what that what that one little touch could mean to someone so i agree and thank you for leading the charge in this and being an inspiration to us all and bringing the kingdom of God wherever you are going. It is, it is stunning. Thank you so much for your time, Monica. Oh, thank you. This is a pleasure. I appreciate the opportunity to do this and come join the group and, and just enjoy we'll it. We'll post it. We'll post us. it on our social media one. We'll tell people where they can go. That'd be awesome. Thank Thanks. you.